And here's your host of Living the Country Life, Betsy Freeze. Transporting horses can be a dangerous experience for both the horses and the owners. Today we're going to talk about horse trailer safety. We have Leon Mathias from Mathias Arabians. Leon, thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Betsy, for asking me. Leon, what's the first thing to consider when buying a horse trailer? Safety of the horse in the trailer. Okay. You need to have enough room for the horse to move forward and sideways to keep his balance in the trailer. You need to know that there's plenty of headroom for him so that he doesn't hit his head in the trailer while he's standing in the trailer. What are some things inside the trailer to look for? Well, very much the flooring. Uh, this is a rubber floor mat, okay. which is a rough texture and not a real smooth texture because if it doesn't have that rough texture, the horse can slide around in here and putting a little sawdust on it will help it. What about the ventilation in the trailer? We have great ventilation in this trailer, which is very, very important. It makes the calmness of the horse in a lot more ways. We have overhead ventilation and side ventilations on both ends of the horse for each one of them, which is really great. And in the doors, you've also got ventilation. Once you've uh, loaded the horses, is there, is there a problem sometimes with overloading the trailer? Yes, there is. The trailers have what they call a GVW, gross vehicle weight limit on them. And if the, this one happens to be probably between eight and 10,000 pounds. So when you load this trailer, the axles will only handle that much weight. That means the horse's weight, feed, water, tack, whatever you're going to put in it. Don't overload it. If you're going to overload, go to a bigger trailer. Now what about the hitch? The hitch is something very important. It's a ball hitch. This is a gooseneck trailer, which you set the gooseneck down on the ball hitch of the truck. And when that latches down, you have to latch it. That's very important. Then you have two chains that hook, which is a chain for in case it's a breakaway, it will still hold it. If those chains break, you have a little small cable that comes into effect. And when your truck breaks away from it, that cable puts the brakes on on the trailer so it won't roll down the highway. Now, backing up a trailer is always tricky for me. Can you give me some pointers? Oh, yeah. Backing up, once you learn how to really do it, you want to watch your mirrors. Take it slowly. You may have to ride the brakes a little bit, but take it very slow and easy and try and have somebody else there to help you so that you don't run into something or somebody comes in behind you unknowingly. So, Leon, now we're going to uh, demonstrate how to load the horse. All right, one of the first things, I'll Betsy, I want to tell you about is the lead rope. Let's make sure it's a cotton rope, not a nylon rope. If the horse pulls back, it could burn your hands and blister it. Or if not a cotton rope, use a leather strap. It's okay. more cautious for you. You don't want to wrap it around your hand either. Don't wrap it around your hand or something because if it gets caught on something, it's going to jerk your hand out. Let it slide. If nothing else, you're better off letting the horse run free as you get hurt. If you want to hold the horse, I'll go ahead I'll and open that. up the trailer a little bit so All that right, we get great. ready to load this horse. We have the back tailgate already open, but we got to open up this side panel. And this is spring-loaded, so it'll hold it over for us. And we'll put that there. We've got our tie in there ready, so we're ready to go ahead and load the horse. All right. And let him know how he's going to come in. Ask him to come in, soft and easy. And let him know that he's doing good. Walk him up and hook him. I use a quick release snap on this so that the horse, in case something happens, it's called a panic snap. Now, he can get away and I can get him out of here. And then when I get done with this, why well, I'm going to walk back and make sure the horse isn't going to pull back, keeping my hand on the horse's hip so that he doesn't push back on me. Then I'm going to close this and ask him to move over a little bit and push it closed very tightly. There. I wanted to make sure that his tail is out of the way when we're doing that. Right now I'm going to pull on that and make sure it's secure and it seems like we're secure so we're ready to go down the road. And when you're going down the road, are there any safety factors there? When you're going down the road, I like to check on my horse about every 100 miles or at least every filling station stop. Okay. If I'm having problems with the horse back in the trailer, I want to check on him. Pull over, stop, check on him in case that rope come down. Make sure he's get not his, tangled, tangled in something. Up. Or if you got a hay bag in there that the hay bag hasn't fallen down, got underneath his feet, and there's a different problem. All right. Well, we, we got to our destination. Now show me how to unload. All right. When we're going to unload, first thing we do is make sure that we have a good surface to unload on. We do not want cement or black topping because that is too slippery. Right. You want a good solid base. We're going to open up the trailer and make sure the horse is okay. Don't try and do it quickly. Just do it soft and easy. We're not trying to spook the horse. Once we get into the trailer, we want to come up in here and let the horse know that we're here by laying our hands on and say, okay, boy. And then we're going to open up the back panel 
and let it open up, and again, putting our hand on the horse so that the horse feels the security of it. And then go ahead and pull a panic release. Now, I could either turn the horse around or back him out. In this case, I'm going to back him out. I'm going to take my time and let him come back out on his own. I don't want to force him. I want him to take it easy so that he doesn't hurt himself or anything. He'll move over, and down he'll go. See, he can get in a little trouble there, but he kept his balance soft and easy. And then we're on the ground. He's doing a great job. Now, now that we're out here, we want to walk the horse around a little bit. If we've gone a great distance of time on the road or something, we want him to loosen up his muscles a little bit as a last precaution. Right. Thanks, Leon, for sharing this information. Thanks, Betsy. Transporting horses can be an enjoyable experience if you follow the safety precautions.